Five Unique Properties of Graphite by Ohio Carbon Blank. If you examine graphite using a high-powered microscope, you will notice layers of atoms arranged in a hexagonal or honeycomb-shaped configuration. This configuration of atoms allows electrons to move easily within the various planes and gives graphite many of its unique properties. We will be showcasing these unique properties in a series of short videos. Today we intend to highlight the material's thermal properties, properties involving the various interactions when exposed to heat, specifically the material's melting point, oxidization threshold, thermal conductivity, and the material's coefficient of thermal expansion. When it comes to melting point, these materials are very difficult to melt. In fact, graphite does not have a melting point until you get to about six or 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And at that point, the material simply sublimates and goes directly from a solid to a gas. With that said, most graphite materials will begin to oxidize around 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, but this oxidization threshold grows to be five times that amount in a controlled vacuum furnace environment. As a result of this melting point, graphite is often used to house, transfer, and cast molten materials. It is used to make furnace linings and fixtures for brazing, sintering, and heat treating applications, has been used in fireproofing systems, and carbon fibers are now woven into fabrics to make them more fire resistant or flame retardant. Graphite also possesses remarkable heat transfer properties, and this is attributed to the material's thermal conductivity. Many graphite materials, both natural and synthetic, have conductivity values as high as a couple hundred watts per meter degree Kelvin, which is impressive in itself. However, some composite materials are now registering values as high as one to 2,000. For perspective, air and water both have conductivity values that are less than one watt per meter degree Kelvin. Rocks, concrete, and sand have values that are typically in the one to five range. If you think those get warm easy, Imagine a material with a value in the hundreds or thousands. Materials with high thermal conductivities are often used in applications where heat energy needs to be produced, transferred, or quickly dissipated. Heating elements, heat sinks, heat shields, and heat exchangers are all good examples here. Sometimes carbon graphite fibers are integrated into motherboards and circuit boards to help dissipate heat away from the critical heat sensitive components. And some of those composites are used in the thermal cores of advanced avionics. Graphite is also unique due to its thermal expansion properties. Typically when a material is heated, it expands. Graphite, however, is a material that does not exhibit much expansion when heated. In fact, the amount of expansion is typically a fraction of that of a human hair. A single strand of hair is roughly 60 to 90 microns in diameter, and the typical coefficient of expansion for graphite is often less than 10 microns per degree Fahrenheit. Some materials have values between one and two. This is rather impressive, and as a result, the material is often used to make various tooling, mold dyes, furnace components, and substrate materials that must retain its shape when heated. Casting dyes, ingot molds, glass making tools, brazing fixtures, sintering trays, and heat treating fixtures are all good examples of products and applications that require low thermal expansion values. In summary, carbon graphite materials offer unique and impressive thermal properties. They have incredibly high melting points, relatively high oxidization thresholds, conduct and transfer heat well, and they do not exhibit much expansion. These thermal properties are simply one of the five unique properties of this material. Join us again next time when we discuss another unique property of graphite.